Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do a video of my 1996 and not 1996, um, 1991 Henry from 46th week of 1991. Um, some of you may have seen the before video. If you haven't, go check that out. Um, the base was really, really, really faded. I've actually put that base on it now. I just put the HR 222 uh, top on it for now because um, this one's got a bag in it. Um, yeah. Um, as I was saying, it was really faded and you can tell by now, uh, even the lettering is really faded. Even though this base is pretty faded as well, but lettering still faded. If you got really close that there is a lot of scratches. There was there's still a few scuffs like there, uh -huh, like here. A little bit there. But it is really scratched up and it had a lot more scuffs than you last saw it. I don't really make a proper before video of it because I was kinda of in a rush. It's got this nice original switch, the classic one with the no zero one here. A power outlet socket. I haven't really cleaned that up properly. To be fair, I haven't really cleaned this up properly. I know I haven't even cleaned up the cable properly. Uh, not really bothered because it is quite a battered machine anyway. You see, it is pretty clean in there. Uh, nice original plug. Usually they do get chopped off at this age. A little bit chewed here. Uh, yeah. Um, now I did put a new motor in it, second-hand one, and it does re run pretty well for a cheap second-hand one. Let me look inside. Uh, nice clean filter. In it. It's actually now this one isn't its original filter. To be fair, for that. I've just changed the filter guard because the one this is much more cleaner, it's got less stains on it. And two because uh these aren't stretched out and it covers the crack in the filter guard. So yeah. Um well, as you can see I have used this machine quite well. That one to be fair. And back it is really full. So yeah. Um under here, pretty clean, little bit of rust and corrosion, but you can live with that for this type of machine. I mean, it is pretty old. Uh, yeah, it is pretty clean, a little bit of marks, you know, like in the corners where you can't really clean them up properly, but not bothered. It's just a machine that I don't really use that often. I do like using it, but just something that I don't use, but a little bit of mark in there. It, for some reason, this is just, just covered in little, little dots of paint. I don't know why, but yeah. Anyway. So yeah, now down to the down to the tools. Uh we've come with uh sort of the style hose, the new ones they come with it's more round here now. Um yeah and we've come with a uh, short cuff hose uh short cuff yeah um older style bent end i did get a new one i chopped away the old one um yeah um, older style tube now the way you can tell with these is if you tap it it's make a high pitch sound the older ones don't sorry the new ones make like a low pitch sound yeah it's a bit weird but it's just my way of telling how it is um, floor tool, which I didn't really clean up because obviously I got this off my nan, off her new mat that she got off work. Um, a little bit dirty in there because I have been using this floor tool with this machine. Uh, it's nice original there, although, yeah, it's a bit fluff there. Um, nice clean channels and everything, rusted screws, but oh, I can live with that. Yeah, you'll probably see a video of that soon. You need the mower. Oh, it has it has a motor, but I need to service it because bearings are pretty rough in it. But yeah, it hasn't got its original motor in it. This came with a HVC motor. 
It's got 1000 watt motor in it, but bearings are still a bit dodgy in it, so yeah. So, yeah, run this for you. Oh, also, I did grease the cord rewind a bit because you know how it just makes sound like grinding, and also to put a bit of grease in the wheels as well so it doesn't make that spinny thing, you know, sound after. Yeah. Now, with these old ones, I do prefer the ones, you know, the one with the smaller cable entry, you know, the little hot dog shaped one. And yeah, and I just prefer it with, you know, the be approved sticker. It just gives it more character to the machine. Um, yeah, and yeah, I do prefer them because I did have an, my nan did have an Edward at one point. I don't, can't remember if it did have this sticker, uh, not sticker, that sort of cable entry, but I do remember it having the beep approved sticker. So it probably did actually come with it because they only did it at that time. Because I think, yeah, look, this on these type, this is the first model to use with the, uh, this type of square cable entry. So yeah, look, they shovel the things here, everything double insulated, be approved and all that. This is made in Beam Minister. I think these ones are, well, not Beam Minister, Dorset. These older ones were made in Dorset. Um, 1000 watt, 240 volts. I do like 1000 watt motors in this, they're pretty good. I even come here. I have taken that the armature out of this. And I'll sand it down because this is black as anything. Usually they're black and they still work fine. Look, you can even see all the carbon dust on it. But yeah, as you can see, this is more rusty than the one I've got. If you even look under here. Yeah, look, it's just really rusty. So it does run fine, man. Just need to service it. I've greased the bottom bearing because it just made a little bit of noise. But yeah. So I'll just get back on the topic. And I'll run it for you right now. It does run pretty well, to be fair. Also, another thing, this is really loose as. Uh, this has been used a lot with that. I think in the past my grandma's been, you know, taking it off and on and all that stuff. She did have these tubes at one point, so yeah. Oh, this So yeah, it runs pretty well. Um, I will be selling this one because you know it's not a perfect one that I'll keep. But yeah, still 
is. It is nice to use. I do sometimes use it. Not often, but yeah. And plus, uh, this one's that's got twelve meter cord in it, and this has got eight meter. So yeah, cause, you know, I just can plug that all the way from my living room, and then just work over upstairs as well. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching.